We are about to drive over 1,300 miles from Virginia all the way to Texas with the goal of stopping at 50 different toy stores and buying every single item we don't already have for the Dragon Ball collection. Let's get on the road and let's spend a lot of stupid money. Step number one was driving an hour and a half through the absolute woods of Southern Virginia and then another hour and a half through the woods of North Carolina to reach our first store. North Carolina. After driving through the absolute woods for three hours, we finally made it to number one. First store we came to was a place called Brothers Vintage Toys and Games, which we've been to before. They have quite a few toys and action figures on the bottom level, but what we were looking for is upstairs in the anime section. I don't know what they did to my man Broly here. Once we got up there, we found a bunch of Dragon Ball figures, pretty much all of which we had, but we did find this one single figure that we didn't have in our collection. Store number one, and we already found one figure we don't have. Welcome to the collection, Piccolo. On to number two. Store number two is a place called Lost Ark, and they have a really big anime section selection but surprisingly very very little dragon ball everything we did see in the store we already had in our collection unfortunately store number three is amazing from the street it looks like it would be a phone store but when you get in there there's a ton of anime 90 percent dragon ball we always find something super cool in this place and today was no different pretty rare find in there actually they had this thing which is a bunch of minifigures they're not as many as the other ones but it's all the different forms of frieza except for you know frieza black because it's not out in the anime yet but this thing is sick. It was a little overpriced, a little bit, but they gotta make money too. It's like 180 on eBay and they had it at 200. So I'm happy with it. It's in hand right now. And I know there's a boo version of this too. Hopefully we can find that while we're out. Store number four really didn't have any pictures on Google. It just said collectible. So we were kind of going in blind. We did see a couple Dragon Ball things, but nothing we didn't already have. It was more so a sports collectible store, I'd say. Store number five, we're going into a five below because they're supposed to have these new Dragon Ball flash figures that we can't find anywhere else here in the United States. The only one we found is Goku, so we're still looking for the rest, fingers crossed. Unfortunately, this five below did not have any of them. Store number six in the mall. First thing we saw was some Dragon Stars. We have that whole set, but we immediately grabbed these shot glass sets that we did not have, which were brand new, and then we saw these. What in the Wild West bootleg is this? What is that? <laughs> I don't know where the heck these came from, but they were only $5, so I figured why not add some hilarious bootlegs to the collection for that cheap of a price. Store number seven is a place called Video Game World, and they had a massive selection of Dragon Ball, the biggest we've seen so far, tons of figures in the shelves. The unfortunate part was we had every single one of them, but I definitely recommend checking this place out if you're in the area. Then while we were in the mall, we went ahead and went in FYE. It has a lot of Dragon Ball, but nothing we didn't have, unfortunately. Just got done eating dinner. Now we're going to this place called Gamers Alley. Now I have a history with this place. One time I spent over $2,000. One time we spent over $1,500. <laughs> they usually have a lot of cool Dragon Ball stuff and I'm hoping it's gonna be the same today. Let's do it. As I said, I've spent thousands of dollars in this store and of course the one time we decide to record it, they barely have any Dragon Ball selection and the few things they did have, we already had in ours. Last store of day number one, one more five below. Let's see if we can finally find those little Dragon Ball flags figures so I can stop worrying about them. Let's check it out. Last of the day, we went to a five below looking for those flash figures again. I don't know what wizardry other people are using, but we just can't find them. Store number 11 is another really cool one that we found a lot of Dragon Ball in. And again, they had a lot of vintage Dragon Ball figures inside of this store, including some movie figures. Now we're at a super cool store called Red Genesis. Funny story about here. When we used to just go out buying Dragon Ball toys without this YouTube channel, the owner of the store is one of the first people to tell us that we should make a channel doing something like this so hey shout out to this guy you said what now oh we got a lot of dragon ball stuff all oh, this there you go. it's all Ooh. vintage um and then i've got on the other side over here i've got some stuff that's coming off the card that would be good for opening up okay um just to have loose okay this whole box right here so okay. these are all 20 each because they're coming off the card got you so yeah um okay. and then i've got some larger figures behind you Oh, right here. And then right here, I had I had more yesterday. I had some bigger ones, but I had a lady come in and buy for her uh, husband. Okay. But yeah, just look around. There's, yeah, there's definitely. Dragon Ball everywhere. It's so cool if we can record in here, right? Yeah, yeah, you're good. All right. Especially you guys. <laughs> All right, this is the ones that are hard to look at. Yeah. Make sure we have. I know we have Evil Blue. <laughs> well, let's Blue. let's filter to what we know we have and what we don't Jason have. Jason 18, yes, I know we have. Gohan, yes. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, yes. 17 and 16, yes. 
These are the ones I start to get confused, like the older ones. Yeah, I don't know about that Vegeta. Yeah, I'm not sure about this Vegeta or this Final Form Frieza. <laughs> okay, set those aside. Uh, say I set them right here. I want to say yes. But hey, if we're gonna check, we're gonna check, right? Yeah. Same with Trump. Alright, then we got Chow 2, I know we have Chow 2. And Dr. Giro, I know we have to. Alright. So let's check those. Oh, look. I don't think. Do we have, we have Janemba? Janemba? I don't know if we have Gohan. Okay, so take that. We have Janemba? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have Janemba. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna check. Hold okay. on. So I just checked all the 300 pictures on my phone, and we don't have this Frieza or this Janemba. Can't recommend that place enough. Again, they're the reason we found out about this whole little secret toy city here in Gastonia, North Carolina. This store is awesome. And two beautiful vintage pieces to add to the collection. Store number 13 is actually right next door and they usually have some cool stuff. They have some of the statues that we put in the detox and even this old vintage Broly movie figure. We had them. Just finished up North Carolina. We just now crossed into South Carolina. We have quite a few stores here to check and then we're gonna be headed straight to Atlanta, Georgia. Let's see what we can find. First store in South Carolina called the Tangle Web. They do have a decent anime section, but they're more comic based, but hey, we got this Dragon Ball lanyard. I'll take it. Next store called the Toy Federation usually has a lot of vintage and SH figure arts. We've got a bunch from them in the past. Unfortunately, this time we had every single one they had. Next, we went into a second in charge and they had a huge trade-in of Dragon Ball SH figure arts, but we had every single one of them. Next, we went into this small little store called Borges in the mall, but we ended up finding these little tiny Dragon Ball Lego figures with blasts and bought all of them. Next, we went into Spencer's and surprisingly found a ton. We found Dragon Ball wallets, cups. We even found these chocolate bars at the front I've never seen before. So those last two stores that we went to gave us probably about 12 little good things, but unfortunately, that was our last couple places in South Carolina. Now we're on to Georgia. So let's see if we can find theirs. You know, this wind and trees and branches going everywhere is making me feel a lot less like Goku and a lot more like a scared little Naruto fan. Maybe I should pull over and hide with them, right? But you know what? <laughs> no, I, I can't. I can't. This license plate says Goku on it. We must persevere. Right. Here. There's an entire tree down here. Uh, can we get under it or do we even have to get over? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, no, no, we're I, good. I think we're good. Man, they ain't playing out here, are they? Another tree? Man, get me out of here. <laughs> Georgia's weather is a little different. We persevered and we made it to our first store here in Georgia, but there's a giant sign on the door that says no uh, photography or video recording. So if we find something, we'll show you when we come back. They actually had a ton of anime and quite a bit of Dragon Ball. We had everything in there except for two keychains, the seven Dragon Balls and Baby Gohan. Next, we went into another mall and first walked right into a box lunch. I didn't even see anything Dragon Ball in the store until we looked in the very last corner. The TV thing and the Set and book then in that same mall, we went into a store called Character World, which had a massive Dragon Ball selection. They had everything from little figures and big figures, but unfortunately, it was just all the common stuff that we already had in our collection. Unfortunately, the rain and storming just caused too much traffic, and we still have four more stores we can't make it to, so we're just going to go ahead and grab a hotel here in what city, Georgia? I forgot. Alpharetta. That, Alpharetta, Georgia, and in the morning, we're going to hit those stores we couldn't check and then continue on to Texas. Then we went to a little store called Anime Remix, and we really thought they would have something we didn't have, but they just didn't. Then we went to a store called Anime Crew, which was really small, and these stores always go one of two ways. They have a bunch of really weird stuff that you can only only find in Japan where they just have the absolute generic stuff that every store sells and unfortunately with this place that was a B so nothing for us so far all we got is two keychains to show for the entire state of Georgia so far we only have two stores left in Georgia so hopefully we get one big score at one of them next stop was a place called second chance toys which has a huge selection of everything the last three times we came in here we left with a bunch of Dragon Ball and you can see why 
Unfortunately, this time around, they didn't have anything we didn't have. Next is one of the biggest toy stores in the state of Georgia that we found called Plastic Empire, and they have a lot of Dragon Ball. We had one mission going in this store, and it was to find a custom-made Gotenks pin that was only a few hundred in the world, and guess what we got? Whoever it was that sent me the message about Plastic Empire having the exclusive Gotenks fig pen, thank you for that, appreciate it. We looked for it, we found it in there, only 750 worldwide, and we got one of them going home to our collection. So that's it for Georgia. We got two keychains, which are cool, and I am really happy about the exclusive Gotenks fig pen, because you can't get it nowhere else, so happy to have that. But now we're heading to Alabama, and as you would expect, it's mostly nothing. We found one store that may have something in Montgomery, Alabama, which is like three hours away, and then one or two all the way on the coast, which is a five hour drive. So we're in for a lot of woods, and we'll see you when we get to the next store. Sweet home Alabama. Woo, time for literally woods for the next three hours. We have been driving for over five hours in Alabama. Every single city we went through, we looked on the phone for toy stores, action figure stores, or anime stores, and we have found zilch, nothing. The one we thought we had in Montgomery was shut down. So now we are 15 minutes away from Mobile, or Mobile, or however you pronounce it, Alabama, where we found one cool looking store, and then we're out of the state on a Mississippi. Only store in the entire state of Alabama that we could find was this place called Play and Talk. Now they have another location that you'll see later that is epic, but this one was pretty cool. We found some Dragon Ball scrolls and some other cool Dragon Ball items, so I was happy. Welcome to Mississippi! First store in Mississippi is a place called Anime Closet, which was a small little shopping center with a lot of epicness inside. We found this cool Shenron plush right off the bat. The owner told us it was imported from Japan, so it was beautiful. So you saw we got the Shenron plush, but then we found this next to the checkout counter, little Dragon Ball car decal that we will put on the car when it's not so sunny and hot outside. Next, we went into the other play and talk, the bigger and cooler one that has a lot of Dragon Ball stuff, very cool exclusive stuff. We saw a lot of figures that we already had, did buy some more scrolls, but there was one item in particular that we were very interested in to say the least. <laughs> so the um, life-size Goku, is there any way that I can get in touch with the owner today? Um, Facebook? Yeah, he's the one that runs it. He's the only one that has like, access to it, so he'll reply to it, the messages on there. Okay. Are you wanting to buy it? I'm yeah. Assuming. I tried to get them to sell us that life-size Goku, but the employees couldn't do it, so they told us to message the owner on Facebook. We sent them a message. We have to come back from Texas this way again, so maybe if things work out and they're reasonable at the price, we might be coming home with a life-size Goku. <laughs> We're at our one and only store in Louisiana. The only other one we could find was an hour and a half south past New Orleans and no thank you. So we're at the toy room, never been in this one. Let's see what we can find. The one and only stop in Louisiana was a store called the Toy Room that was loaded with modern, vintage, new, all kinds of Dragon Ball all over the store. In the front, they had a section with fig pins and there were quite a few surprisingly in this case that we did not have. At least the only stop in Louisiana turned out pretty good. We got five of these little mini guys we didn't have already. They don't take up a lot of space and they add to the numbers good, which I'm always happy about. And then, okay, let's put them here. Of course, the fig pins. Little Beerus, Android 18, exclusive one. I've never seen a box like this one. This one's different. The bigger Beerus. And lastly, the little mini Ultra Instinct Goku. So this is a good little haul here. What does that sign say? Texas. Welcome to Texas. We're here, Sandy Cheeks. We made it. First store in Texas, we walked in here and were greeted with a bunch of dragon stars right on the wall, some loose figures in the detox. We had it all, but we did find this absolute beauty here. All right, you guys know I like really stupid, funny bootleg stuff, so I had to get this figure right here. This looks like what, Team Gohan in Goku's orange gi with Super Saiyan blue, Super Saiyan 2 hair. But with Piccolo shoes, like yeah, his, his outfit. Th I mean, this is just fabulous. Top of the line Dragon Ball. It should have been a $200 figure. We got it for a steal for only five bucks. You know what? Best find ever. Next door, we were greeted by this giant life-size Goku that they wouldn't sell to me and that other weird guy who could probably be a sparring partner for Krillin. But inside, they had lots of anime stuff. We picked up the cool Dragon Ball Super Saiyan God Goku plushies. So we got those two Super Saiyan God Goku plushies, the Broly light 
And I saw this at checkout, a nice holographic beer sticker we didn't have. If you guys come to this one for the first time, it's kind of in the neighborhood. Oh, close today. Yeah, well, we tried. First day in Houston, Texas, and we have found over 20 different toy stores to check in this one city alone. No way we don't find something epic today. This next store is called Misfit Toys in Houston, Texas, and they have a huge selection. We found the vintage Dragon Ball, we found vintage Dragon Ball Z, and every other toy we can possibly find. We had everything we saw until we saw this sick Golden Frieza statue that we definitely grabbed. Next shop we went in looked pretty cool, but they didn't have a lot of anime and it was definitely more American show based. Next we went to a store called Bedrock Comics. It had three different locations. We checked all three. They're huge stores, but they only get the most modern stuff and we already have all of it. Definitely a great store to check out if you're in the area, but if you're a hardcore Dragon Ball collector like us, not one of the three stores had anything. Next we went into another mostly comic based store and you'll see the trend that most of these places only have the most recent stuff, but you never know which one's take trade in so we always got to check them but unfortunately nothing here next place was another store that had a bunch of cool stuff only a very select few dragon ball figures but they take trade in so we always check them when we're in the area we went into a mall and found these absolute beauties dragon doll <laughs> that's good i feel like i, I gotta, gotta get, get these yeah <laughs> The next store we went into was awesome. We immediately saw a bunch of Dragon Ball and found these super sick vintage figures. I've seen these figures in multiple other stores, but I've never once found them in box. And they had Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo, and we took all of them. They also had these cool pins. I think he said one came off of an ice cream truck in Japan. One of the best stops so far. Not only did we find those three vintage figures in the pins, they also had these like cool acrylic card things that they got from a partner straight in Japan. I've never never seen these before and of course we bought every single one they have because that's what we do but yeah we got like probably 15 new things in the collection from one store so we just went in the store behind us but they don't allow filming there's a big sign on the door but we grabbed two things i thought was cool check out the old school lord slug folder i usually don't get messed with the folders but because it's old school lord slug we had to go for it and then this one i'm shocked we didn't have already but the blood of saiyans golden hair super saiyan bardock is now part of the collection. Next, we went into this antique mall where there were two toy stores. One had absolutely nothing, and the second one had these two cool figures we didn't have already, so we definitely grabbed them. Every time we go on a toy hunting road trip, there's always that one store that's the mega jackpot, and that's this place right here. We found a bunch of old vintage figures, quite a few of them we did not have. We found giant X plus figures. We found vintage keychains. We found vintage dolls. We found so much Dragon Ball in this store by far the best of the trip. Time for a little recap of just this one place. Every time we go on a road trip toy hunt, there's always the one store that kills all the other stores. We found it here in Houston, it's this one. <laughs> Check out the vintage. I've been looking for this Yamcha. I've never once seen it in box. So Yamcha on four, happy to find that. Master Roshi, the X plus Goku. Now we have the Comic-Con variant of this, but didn't have the normal variant of that yet. We've never seen it before. So that was the big boy expensive. And then we got this one. I tried the image search and it took me forever to find it. It was never released in the United States. It's a uh, Latin American release only. And you could tell it's in like Spanish and the yeah. different languages back here. So that I've never seen before. We got a couple of the, you know, older ones, this Gohan, this Trunks, and then a bunch of those little keychains. Those are cool. They're magnetic. So it looks like they're floating <laughs> in there, which is sick. And these clothes dolls like this, Goku was the only one we can ever find for the longest time. So now we have this whole set actually, there's a Super Saiyan Goku. Ah, Almost and have. A, and a Piccolo. Piccolo. Okay, I thought we were getting close, but we still got more to find. Next place we went in had this awesome Trunks resin statue, but the problem was the box was just too big to leave room for something else I plan on getting while we're here. They also had a lot of other Dragon Ball figures. Not much that we didn't have, but we did find this little baby Piccolo figure to go. Number 47 was a store called Game World right next to our hotel, which had a whole bunch of statues in the case. We found a couple of these mini figures we didn't have, then found some new release figures at the front we didn't have, and finally even came across some mini keychains, so a good score. Next store is this creepy parking lot. Why? Because I just made an awesome deal off of Facebook Marketplace for this super huge Broly resin right here. This is the reason we couldn't get the trunks because it just wouldn't fit with this guy in the rest of our bags to get back home. But this thing is so sick and we'll take it out and unbox it, put it together in the recap. Then we went into another second in Charles and finally found the Dragon Ball G Fuel. 
Good morning, guys. We're back at Red Genesis. I didn't even think to ask you what, how much you had them listed yeah. I got them cheap. Oh, like 24. Yeah, 24 a piece, but I'll cut you a deal if you get all of them. Yeah, we'll That's get cool. all of them. All right. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> On the way back home, we went back to Red Genesis because we saw these awesome Dragon Ball tech decks and bought all of them. For those of you guys that are gonna say, hey, you went to Red Genesis twice, that's only 49. I also won this on eBay, so eBay could be store 50 to you if you're not a believer. If not, it's store 51, but this is a sick old school double pack. Now we got everything laid out, check this out. This is everything we found along that entire trip, going from Virginia to Texas, passing through North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. I might be forgetting a state in there, to be honest with you. I don't really remember, but we found so many new items. Still, with already over 5,500 items in the collection, we still found so much more. And the coolest thing you didn't get to see yet, check out that Broly resin statue. Absolutely sick. I'm so glad we found that on Facebook Marketplace. For anyone that's curious, a lot of people like to ask about the prices of stuff. The cheapest things we found, these $1.99 keychains of Frieza and Deborah, so two bucks. Most expensive thing on the trip, obviously, Broly resin right here, 550 bucks. That was a grand total of 115 new items, bringing the total collection to 5,000. 617 different Dragon Ball items. We're over halfway to the world record, so if you love Dragon Ball, make sure you subscribe and follow the journey because we're taking that record guaranteed.